Another question which comes to my mind is that how can marketers leverage behavioral science to develop marketing strategies and create omni-channel campaigns? Because yeah. it can't be just one email or a message, you know, a digital creative. It has to, you have to touch upon the consumer at every step. You're absolutely right. And that's, that's a great question. So, um, so there's almost like, there's like a two-part answer. So the first is, you know, how do we decide which behavioral science we want to leverage? Because there are lots of different principles. So I think the first thing you want to do is you want to look at uh, what action you want your customer to take. And then you want to think about what's the main thing that's holding them back, that's pre preventing them, that's the biggest barrier. So, uh, you know, maybe you're a brand new company. And so people are a little hesitant to do business with you because they have never heard of you and they're, you know, they're not really certain whether or not, you know, it would be a, a good choice. So you want to identify what that barrier is. And then you want to look at all of the behavioral science levers that we have, all the potential arguments that we can make to overcome that buying barrier using behavioral science. And so what you do is you'd come up with a few behavioral science infused hypotheses. So maybe you'd say, all right, if, if we think that the number one barrier is, you know, people are hesitant to do business with us because they don't know us, well, maybe we use social proof. We say, you know what, a lot of people like you have already made this decision. Or maybe we use the authority principle. We say, you know, uh, we've been featured in, in Time Magazine or Newsweek or NBC News or the American Dental Association endorses our product or a prominent leader or recognized, uh, you know, expert in the field has endorsed our product. But we, you know, we kind of pull in that authority principle because uh, as, you know, ever since we were kids, we've been taught to recognize and respect authority. So by the time we're adults, it's ingrained in us. And when an authority says something, we usually believe it. And if an authority tells us to do something, we usually do it. So we're like, all right, you know, the ADA says this is a, a good toothbrush, even though I've never heard of a company that manufactures it. I've heard of the ADA, so I'll buy this toothbrush, right? There's an example. So what we do is we like, all right, we want to find out why someone might not want to do what we're asking them to do. We come up with our behavioral science uh, infused hypotheses that might overcome that. And then we want to test them. And when we find out what one is working the best, then what we want to do is we want to have that steady drumbeat. We want to make sure that that message and the way that it's expressed shows up in everything we do, in our email campaigns, in our, our ads, in our blog posts, right? We, we want to speak the same language, obviously modified by channel. I mean, you can't say as much in a tweet as you can in an email, for example, but yeah. we want to have the, the same message, the same tone of voice. We, you know, we want to be kind of speaking off the same page so that wherever people encounter our company and our message, it's that same uh, point that we're reinforcing. It's, it's the thing that we find is going to work the best. And so we just repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. So when people run into us, wherever they run into us, like, ah, yes, I, I recognize that. You know, we just want to keep reinforcing the message we feel is best for our target to encourage them to take the actions we want them to take.